Hey guys, Restart here, bringing you another Tactics video. I'm sorry I haven't put up any in the past few days. Unfortunately, I've been really sick for like four days now. And people have been asking where more are. Well, they're going to come back because I am just getting over a being really sick. So please excuse me if my voice is a little off or if I cough or something. Uh, just getting back to bringing you guys these videos. And I've actually been doing pretty well for myself since I did have some off time. We'll throw up that frame there. Number eight, woohoo, I'm coming for you, Shine. But, uh, Arena, the Ether Master scene is growing. There's now over 100 Ether Masters, and there's a lot lower tiers. Recommend it to your friends. It's on tablets now. It's coming out for the iOS store. So, tell everybody you know. Anyways, back to the video. Mount Whitney is a very strategic map, and your openers matter a lot. There's not a lot of crossover from side to side, and it's pretty short to get across, and ranged pretty much have free shots from over on the side. So you really have to have your opening strategies down pat, because a few key moves can lose it on this map a lot faster than other maps. And why do I say ranged have pretty much free range? Well, if you look... Over the center, there's a bunch of tiles that you can shoot over, you can attack over, but it's going to take a lot of time to cross sides with a physically with a champion. If you have an Aurora out here and she wants to hit somebody over here, she has to first walk onto one of these tiles and walk off. She can't just walk right over and start dealing damage. So uh, generally, uh, what a lot of people do is they have two people on their offensive side, the wide side for them. If you're a yellow team, you want this side over here. And if you're black team, you'd want this side over here as your offensive side. And then they've got somebody to close the gap here. Because there's really a three, just three squares here that can't really get supported real easily, you want somebody either big and tanky or who can bring the pain from a long distance away. And we'll go over some of exactly what I think is good there in a bit. But because of all this separation and the gaps, you've got your range that can shoot the ship and then can shoot over the gaps while melee generally have to trudge down this narrow line that can be blocked by somebody or try and make an opening over here where they might get stuck in between tiles if your opponent moves up and blocks that gap. You might get blocked where you can't actually move people out far enough to attack with multiple people at the same time. So that's generally why at least one range champion is uh, preferred for this map. And here's an opening specifically for this map that I think you guys will find a lot of use out of. It's definitely helped me out a lot. But generally what I do is when I start, I start at Aurora, three deep on my wide side. That's right next to the ship Aether tile on the side that doesn't have a gap on it. Now what this does is that you notice I said that those three tiles are a big block here. And what you're going to do is stuff their champion so deep in there that he can't get out. They can't place anybody three out. So they, or they're just going to get double hit by Aurora first turn, and where we're going to play is Bug could hit them too. So they're, they're pretty much relegated to the back duty here, and you can just keep stuffing them in with Aurora because she's got that long range and she can hit people from outside of where they can hit her. So she's just such a fantastic champ to start on this side. Now alternatively, you could try pushing her out here, but the enemy could just overload this side with damage, take the two on their own Aurora, and pound back with more. So I like starting her off on this side. Your opponent's probably going to mirror that. If they place over here, great, because they're kind of forced over here anyways. So you want to see what they do in other places first. Now generally what I like to do is save my bug placement until the end after as many champions have moved as possible so he's more likely to get that initial hit off and not have to move so I'm actually going to place Martell over here too deep in now you can also substitute a corporal a little farther back or even that far in depending on what you think they'll play and you can put a harlequin far back in either of these two spots as well if you're really good with either of those two champions if you've got supporting shells for them uh, one thing you don't want is somebody that does very little damage or that can attack diagonally over to the corner. If you start a Bloody Mary here, she might be able to get a little damage in, but honestly, they're just going to move off to the sides. Not let her do any damage, and if she moves out, take a lot. Same thing with Baron. He's not going to be able to clear anything over here, so he's really just kind of... He can push back a little bit is not going to get the use that you're going to get out of some of these other champions. Corporal's knockback is great when the enemies line up against the edge. Corporal can also actually be used to start over on this side if you don't have the bug or don't want to start Lady Aurora. She, again, she's so good for pushing the enemy back. But the threat of a second turn push from Corporal, because he can step on one of these and then push any of these squares over here, that's right. 
even if you have... Let's pull up a corporal here. If I have my corporal on this square, and your Aurora is over here, he can still target her and push off because he'll end on that tile. You know, if he couldn't push her over here because he'd stop on this tile... But if he was over here already, he can push off anybody over here just by stepping on one of these and pushing him off the edge. Very strong uh, map control over there. He can cross over with a good, lot of good damage. But anyways, back to the point. You placed your Aurora 3 deep. They placed their Aurora 3 deep. Then I place... I like Martel 2 in. He's tanky. He can usually survive to get his ultimate off. Whatever you need to do. They see you place that, they place their bug, and then you place your bug up. Now they're going to place their defensive champion, and then what I like to do is just walk forward, hit their defensive champion once. Now if they try and match this, Bug can move over and hit them, Aurora can hit them twice, Martel can move up and hit them. That's a dead Aurora. So more than likely they're going to come over here and just do a little ping on your Aurora, which is alright, she has a lot of health, she's not going to die to one hit by Martel. And, but can move over and help assist. He generally doesn't want to move forward just because it's going to be so hard to hit Martel in time. Um, Martel can usually walk up and kill him pretty quickly with the help of Aurora. But anyways, he can move up to the edge. Anyway, so you went, they went... Now, I'm going to move forward and hit their bug, if they put him up that far. And now there's nowhere bug can go but the back corner to be safe. Anywhere he goes, Martel can kill him, and he's n he hasn't gone yet, so he's not going to build up his charge. So that kind of stops him from placing that far forward, and if he's not far that far forward, you can move up charge and move back. You always want to block this lane, especially if they put somebody like Harlequin over here. You never want to let somebody run past you into a spot you can't hit them. If I moved over here, then here, he can run past me to the edge and start dealing damage, and I can't get back there fast enough. So you always want to be careful of the run-by. But with that start, no matter where they go over here, your bug can double zap, and you're just in a very strong position. So give that a few tries. Now, of course, the next few moves will definitely have a big impact on the game. You can still lose, especially depending on what shells they have and how good their play is. But if you try that opening a few times, I have a feeling you're going to do pretty well for yourself. So try out Mount Whitney. And again, don't forget to uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want next. And I'll be bringing you some more awesome arena videos. Thanks for watching.